Hey guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom. I'm starting a new week of what I cooked and ate for dinner, starting on a night when I got home from work and knew I wanted to make something with this chili, so I thought I would make some chili cheese dogs in the oven. I like the Nathan's Cheddar Cheese Beef Franks. I also got the Brioche Hot Dog Rolls from Walmart, which also freeze really well, by the way. And I thought since I had the perfect amount of chili left, it would be the perfect opportunity to make these. If you are new here to my channel, I do have an entire playlist of these dinner videos from over the years. You can check them all out in the description box down below where I have all my playlists linked. So I'm going to go ahead now and assemble these, bring them all together, and I'll show you what it looks like when they're done. So I pan fried the hot dogs first so they were nice and hot all the way through. Put them in the brioche buns and then the leftover chili I just heated up in the microwave just to warm it up a little bit and then I topped all the hot dogs with the leftover chili. And then after that, I went ahead and put some sharp tre uh, shredded cheddar cheese on top. And then I popped this whole tray of hot dogs right into the oven, a preheated oven. I believe it was 375 for about 7 to 10 minutes and kept a close eye on them. All right, guys, so here are our plates. We're each having two of the chili dogs on the brioche. This is Matt's plate. He has heavier on the potato wedges, and I have a few of the smaller ones and two of the chili dogs. And my son is having about half of a hot dog and some potato wedges with fruit. But yeah, this is our dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. So this night we grilled some sausage, some peppers and onions outside on the grill. I made a simple salad. Justin was over, which is why there are three plates. And that was our super easy dinner tonight. Hey guys, so I'm home from work and getting ready to start dinner. We are doing a no meat night tonight. It is the Home Chef Spanakopita quesadillas. I actually love Spanakopita, so I'm really excited for this recipe. This portion of the video is sponsored by Home Chef. I absolutely love working with them. They make my life so much easier, and I love coming home from a long day af after work and knowing that I don't have to really think about anything too crazy for dinner because all the work is really done for me. All the ingredients are portioned and ready to go, and I just have to prepare it. So right Right now, Home Chef is offering their best discount ever. It is a limited time offer. It's $20 off your first four orders for a total discount of $80. This is the best deal they've ever offered. So make sure you click my link in the description box down below to take advantage of that deal. They do offer 18 different meal options every week. Obviously, no meat, as you can see. They also offer meals with meat. You can pick two or four portions. Really, I just love them, and I know so many other people who do as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get started making this dish. All the ingredients, like I said, are here. All the steps are on this card for me. I actually save all these cards because it's really good inspiration to recreate meals that I've had previously from them. So I'm going to go ahead and get these started and show you how good they look. guys here is how our plates look let me tell you these are really good I actually ate one of the triangles while I was cutting everything up and I actually have some left over so I'm going to cut that up and bring it for lunch the next day so I'm always impressed with their portions I've told you guys that and these taste delicious they're definitely not ever skimpy and Matt and I can eat um, instead of a toss salad which I was going to do I thought I would just do some fruit because we already had the veggies inside the quesadilla so I actually Actually prepped on Sunday some fruit I cut up a whole bunch of cherries right here I actually cut them off the pit and they're just ready to eat I put them in a bowl and I can portion them out for the week so we're having some fresh cherries and blackberries as a little side along with our quesadilla and I also made that little tomato pico on the side but yeah these were really good Matt enjoyed them a lot and I was definitely impressed so yeah guys this was our dinner tonight definitely check out my link below to get this limited time offer and I will see you guys tomorrow night. Hey guys, I am home and starting dinner. I'm making a sausage and pepper pasta bake tonight. I actually have 
some red and green bell pepper cut up. Uh, I'm going to add it to the sausage. I'm also going to add some of these baby bella mushrooms. I have a big pot of water getting ready to boil. I'm going to boil these corkscrew noodles and then bring this all together. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all sauteed up and I'll show you guys the process. All right, guys, so I've got this cooked down pretty well. The meat's fully cooked. The veggies have like a nice kind of brown on them. So the next thing I'm going to do is add about half of this jar. It's the Bertoli Rustic Cut Pasta Sauce sauce with sweet peppers and portobello mushrooms. So I'm going to add about half of that to this pan, let it just simmer real low, and then obviously have to wait for the pasta, and then we'll bring this all together. So I added in the sauce. I ended up using about three quarters of that jar, and I'm letting this simmer for a bit on low. And then when the pasta is done cooking, I'm going to go ahead quickly and just drain that. So I'm going to now add the cooked pasta. What I did was I took all the filling with the sauce and put it back in the hot pasta pot. And I'm just going to add the pasta actually in with it. I'm going to stir this all up and go ahead and get this into a big baking dish. It's just like a 9 by 13 baking dish. I did spray it with cooking spray. I put about half of the pasta meat pepper mixture in and then I'm topping the first half with some shredded Sargento sharp cheddar cheese. You could also use mozzarella. Um, I just prefer cheddar. I'm a big cheddar fan. Then you're going to add the second half of the pasta and kind of flatten it out. You want it to be a nice even layer. So I'm just going to flatten it all out, make it as even as I can, and then top the second layer or the top layer with more cheddar cheese and then throw it into a preheated 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes and it's absolutely delicious. So I just ended up serving this, guys, with some breadsticks. Um, these are just like garlic breadsticks. I think the brand is like New York style or something. I can never remember the name of this brand. But it came out really good, and there were there is a brand right there. And there were leftovers for the next day for lunch. Hey, guys. It is a rainy evening after work, and I've got dinner rolling here. These are some thick-cut country-style pork ribs. So there's no bone. They're just a really thick country-style rib. We are going to grill these up. Um, we might have to actually move the grill into the garage because it is really rainy right now. But anyways, I'm just going to salt and pepper these, grill these, and then towards the end, when they're almost done, we're going to brush some Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce on them. I have a large zucchini and then some of these little grape tomatoes in my grill pan, a little bit of avocado oil, and then I used some pink salt, black pepper, and the garlic and herb salt free Mrs. Dash, just very easy. I also picked these up a while back, I think either at Price Rate or Walmart. I cannot remember what. I've already tried one, it's a four pack. They're okay, they're not great. Um, let me show you what they look like. I'm sure you guys can picture it. So it is a real potato, but obviously it's like a frozen baked potato. And I got these because in the warmer months, I really don't like to put my turn my oven on if I don't have to. Uh, I like to just grill or use like the stove top. So I don't think I would repurchase these again. I really want to do a batch of my own freezer potatoes, but I just haven't had the time. So I'm going to have one of these with the pork ribs, the veggies, and then for my husband, I made this tuna macaroni salad. So it's macaroni with tuna fish. It's got red bell pepper, red onion, carrot there is actually some green pepper in here hiding and some celery salt pepper and i think i said mayo i don't like tuna but my husband loves it so he's going to have a side of this instead of the potato and obviously there's plenty here and i'm going to go ahead too and um send him to work uh for lunch for a work lunch um with this as well so anyways i'm going to get the grill going and i'll show you what it looks like when it all comes together All right, guys, here are our plates. Matt's got two of the country ribs, some veggies, and then some of the tuna mac salad with the veggies in it as well. And I am having just one of the ribs with one of those little heat up potatoes and a little bit heavier on my veggies. So this is our dinner tonight, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Hey, guys, I am home from work getting ready to start dinner. Tonight I am making a shrimp. As you can see, I have the shrimp right here. 
sort of Asian stir fry. I'm not following a recipe. I'm just kind of freestyling. So I've got, um, my hands are clean. I've got carrot, red cabbage. I've got sugar snap peas, bell pepper, both red and green. I've got onion. I think I'm missing something that I'm forgetting. Um, I'm going to do some lime juice, some cilantro, obviously the shrimp. These are the noodles that I'm using. They're like Japanese style ramen. And for the sauce, I'm using low sodium soy, pure sesame oil, hoisin sauce, uh, some crushed red pepper, some sesame seeds, some ginger like paste. This is from Aldi, I believe. And then some minced garlic. So that's going to kind of be the, um, the sauce and I'll probably add some cracked black pepper. So I'm going to start out I already have a pot boiling for my noodles. I'm going to start out sauteing this up in some sesame oil and bring it all together. Just very kind of freestyle noodle shrimp dish kind of dinner. All right, guys. So here's how it came out. I put some fresh cilantro and I squeezed some lime on each plate. So we've got our noodles with plenty of shrimp and fresh cilantro. I also put some sesame seeds on top. Again, I just kind of wung it. I do have a good amount left over, which will be a nice lunch option for one of us tomorrow. But yeah, this is our easy dinner tonight. I think I'm going to go ahead and end the dinner video here because it's getting to the point where I need to start editing it and getting it up for you guys. So I hope this video gave you some ideas. I have a whole lit playlist of these videos in the description box down below along with all of my cooking videos from over the years as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.